Yeah, guys, we're here again. Again, right now, focusing on some takedown movements, some nogi takedown movements. Um, the basic idea is we're removing our partner from a standing position or taking away their balance. Keeping that in mind, we're going to operate in the same way right, that we achieve our sweeps. Right? We're looking at achieving the two same mechanics. If we can attack, grip, control somebody's legs in some way, and then force them, right, or force their hips behind their legs far enough, they fall over and lose their balance. Generally speaking, again, when you attack the legs, you always have more success forcing your partner towards their back in terms of achieving a takedown because their arms are still free. If you do force them to their face, they're able to balance and base, which leads to another attacking option, the back take. On the opposite end, if we're able to attach to the upper body limbs in some way, we can drive right, their hips higher than their shoulders or bring their shoulders lower than their hips. We're able to throw them from the standing position also. Okay. So, we're going to have a look at um, a double leg movement, but we're going to transition into a body lock position. Now, the body lock is this position here where we're able to secure their waist. And this is a very, very effective attacking option. There's so many different attacks. Uh, and we'll have a look at another option here. But we're going to transition to this control off of the double leg. Now, normally, if we get tight or inside the double leg aggressive early, uh, we actually have very, very powerful control to finish takedowns. Sometimes the person will purposefully position their weight towards their face. They can put their hands on the mat. Sometimes they'll sprawl in a way that you're not able to take them down and you have to transition to the back. This is a very, very common outcome. Most of the time, again, our partner, as we enter the double leg, again, we get good distance, we find good leg position, we drive into this position, all right, and they try to sprawl. As we try to put them down, their hands come to the mat, or we enter this position. They didn't want to lose their balance. They sprawled on us so aggressively. And as we were driving into them, they're leaning on us as well. And what starts to happen, we start pushing past their armpit and we enter the back position. It could be on my knees here like this, it could be in a standing position a little more aggressively, but I land in the body lock situation. Now again, there's a variety of takedowns we can force here. We can go to the ankle, push them to their face, we can start lifting them and driving them and slamming them into the mat. All right, we can drag them to the mat. All right, we're gonna have a look at a little more powerful takedown here. We're gonna, we're gonna dump them on the ground. Now, from this same position, all right, where I landed, I need to position my legs on the side of his body. Because what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna drive my hips into my partner's hips so that I knock his feet off the mat. If my hips are far away from my partner, it's very heavy and very hard to lift them. I'm gonna lift them, make them weightless for a moment, and then push their back to the ground. So, my hands are clasped together, I step both feet all right, in line with this foot closest to me, and now I pop my hips forward. As I pop my hips forward, I'm now gonna rotate my chest and shoulders all right, towards the ground. Okay, so here like this, I pop my hips, ground the hips and shoulders, and I'm able to slam my partner to the mat, achieving again a very, very powerful takedown, where most of the time I'm able to land across their spine, keeping them in a very powerful pin position. 